<laughs> grab the band to start with. And if you step your legs wide, toes pointed out, bottom under, tummy in, chest open. And then what we're doing, if you, um, you can either wrap it round or with those short red ones, you might need to have the full length. Because what we're doing is squatting down, it's coming up above your head, and then you're coming up and it goes back over your head. So you're getting a shoulder stretch. And then squat down and come back forwards. Brilliant. So legs out, Hannah, toes pointing out. Good. Oh, I'm losing my, losing my rhythm there. <laughs> down as you come up <laughs> come up as it goes over brilliant good so you've got to try and keep your shoulders down keep your knees pointing out Sophia a little bit wider and toes pointing out brilliant good Tara you're looking super cool today with all your colors <laughs> uh oh <laughs> Did I email you yesterday saying watch out, we'll be outside, bring warm yeah, stuff? Like oh, a few of you I sent one to. <laughs> it's not bad though, is it? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I tend to commit to it after the Easter, definitely. You've just got to go for it, because if you faff around going in and out and in and out, you just don't end up doing it. But yesterday was amazing. And the day before, I think, as well. Yeah. Yeah. But out here, it's a bit of a sun trap. How's your hubby? Is he all right? Yeah. Yeah, it was good to be there though. Good for my mother in law. Yeah. We're gonna stay at the back on the next one here. So at shoulder blade level, we're just pulsing in and out. I'm gonna leave you doing that. Rada will get it, won't she? Hey Alison. Marion, you may need to join us at the end there because I've put, or actually, instead of moving you, I'm going to move these green bands. So I just put them out for Alison because she needs to have the lighter ones for arms. You can stop there, guys. <laughs> right, so get hold of one end of the band, drop it down over your back here. Grab hold of the other side and then we're straightening out. Drop both shoulders down, feet come further in, hip width apart, knees bent, bottom under, tummy in, triceps. There's a lot of arms in these classes now. Summer arms. <laughs> Brilliant, try and control it down as well. Don't let the band just ping back down again. Control it back down. And try and keep your head up as well. The temptation is to get your head forwards out of the way. So try and keep your head up and keep your elbow pointing straight up as well. Keep your tummy engaged. Good. Three more. Toes pointing forwards. Inhale. Good. <laughs> no, two weeks off. <laughs> oh, stop there. Other side. So grab hold of the end. Drop it down. Hold on just sort of above the bum <laughs> and then straighten out good hi how are you <laughs> i put the green ones at the end oh, there cool brilliant try and square off the shoulders all the time make sure they're level open out through the front of the chest good Three more. Brilliant. All right, bring it round. Okay. As we've got nice long ones, but everyone else has got quite short ones. I don't know whether this one's going to work. So let's give it a try. Stand on the band. <laughs> it's quite stretchy. 
good. And then curl down, chin to chest, peel down one vertebra at a time, all the way to the bottom. Let your arms and your head go heavy. And then can you straighten one arm out like that or is it too short? I think they're going to be too short, aren't they? Yeah. Ah, never mind. Just forget the band and rotate without it. You could probably lengthen it by just standing on one end, couldn't you, and then pulling round, but I think that's going to be too much of a faff, so let's not bother. You can hold, yeah, a few of you got hold of it, that's perfect actually. Come down and round the other way. Brilliant, rotate again. And again to the other side. Brilliant. All right, you can take your shoes off now if you want to and come down onto the mat. If you want to just keep them on for warmth, then it's up to you. <laughs> it's not that cold, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> cool. So, onto your backs. And then the first section is just like we're used to, tucking the chin, open the chest, ribs down, find that little arch in the back, feet hip width apart, and then lift and lower alternate legs. Just our usual routine at the beginning to get everything sorted. Thinking about that pelvic floor, thinking about that leg not coming up past 90 degrees at the hip and 90 degrees at the knee. Think a bit more about moving from the hip rather than just opening at the knee so it's that hip movement oh yeah you always used to do that at the beginning when you first started good oh i can feel the sun perfect okay quickly moving on to right leg up ribs down tummy in pick up the left Right, back down, left, back down. Right up, left, good. Keep drawing in that lower tummy. If you want, have the hands on the lower tummy. Make sure it doesn't push out. <laughs> and swap legs. Left leg first. Okay, stop there. <laughs> and straight away, next level of the same exercise. Right leg up, tummy in, ribs down, left leg up, tapping the toes down. Draw in that lower tummy, make sure you've got the arch in the lower back, the ribs down, the chest open, chin tucked. Good. Ruth, make sure your toes don't come too high. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, four more. And then both legs down, give the legs a little shake. And then the next level of this one, right leg up, ribs down, tummy in, pelvic floor, pick up the left, Chin to chest, shoulders off into your crunch. Hold on behind your left leg. 
<laughs> and then straighten out both. One straight up, one along the floor. Come back and pause in tabletop and then go on the other side. Brilliant. Pause and then the other side. Brilliant. Every time you pull um, on the leg, draw the shoulders down as well. And that keeps the chest open. Lengthen through the back of the neck. Keep drawing in through the tummy. Brilliant, let's do four more. Two, three, four, good stuff, come down. Excellent, so feet hip width apart. Find that arch again in the back, ribs down, chest open, lower one knee out to the side and come back up again. And then the other side, come back up. Don't let those hips follow the movements. Keep your headlights pointing straight forwards. Make sure your feet are hip width apart. And think about those deep abdominals, remember on these ones. Okay, knees and toes together. And then we're going to pick up the hip, take the legs over to the side, keeping the knees pinned together, feet pinned together, and then come back to the center again. Over to the other side and draw back to the center. Need to work on keeping the shoulders down completely. And as time goes on, you'll hopefully be able to keep the ribs down as well. Think about picking up the hip, taking the legs over and then drawing the hip back down to the floor again. Picking up the hip, legs come over, drawing back down. Brilliant. It's quite nice to have your arms out to the side for this one as well actually guys. Keep thinking about engaging your abdominals. So it's not just a back stretch, even though it is quite nice to stretch it out. You're thinking about engaging things too. Brilliant. Okay, separate your feet again to hip width apart. Legs back up to tabletop, one at a time. And then knees and toes together. Scoop in through your tummy and open out one knee at a time. Brilliant, looks good. <laughs> Keep thinking about drawing those ribs down. You need to think about those outer layers. Ruth, have your head down. I think you've got it up because I was looking around, wasn't it? <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Brilliant, I'm sure we can move straight on to the next one. So keep the legs up with the knees and toes pinned together and take the legs over to the side. And then come back to the centre again and then come over to the other side. And then back to the centre. Alison, lift your heels up a little bit there, brilliant. Same with you, Claire, heels up a little. Perfect. <laughs> Good. Again, remembering to purposefully lift up the hip and pull the hip back down. <laughs> All right, let's try some crunches on each side. So if you take the legs over to the right, 
the right arm straight up above the head, left behind the head, and then we can do 10 crunches there. One, two, three, four, perfect. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Briefly knees in towards your chest. And then come back out again. Take them over to the left. Left arm up above the head, right behind the head, and ten crunches. Sophia, the arm crosses over perfect. I got it. <laughs> Three, four, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant knees into your chest. Okay. <laughs> Bringing the legs back up again. Right leg up, tummy in, ribs down. Left leg up, hands behind your head this time. Come into your crunch. Straighten out your right and rotate to the left. Good. And then pause when you come back and then go to the other side. Brilliant. Remember not to lead with the elbow, lead with the shoulder. So the abs are creating that rotation. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Fine. If you're finding it hard, you can bring the legs down to the floor and just slide the leg along the floor. Four more. Two, three, four. Amazing. Knees to chest. Good stuff. All right. So we're actually going to start using these contraptions that we've got out. <laughs> some of you will be used to it from last year and some that you've never seen it before. So on your back with your head towards the wall, which you all are, which is good. And then we're just going to um, fit one leg in each strap and legs straight up. <laughs> so with the legs straight up, you want to feel some tension on the bands already. I'm going to warn you now, the first week um, it's like teething time with the bands. So if they're new, the knots that I've tied haven't quite established themselves. And if they're old from last year, which I think I've replaced all of them, they may snap. <laughs> it's a little bit of a jump if it does come off and snap, but nothing hits you. It just like is a bit of a, a jump. So I'm going to warn you there. Hopefully it's not going to happen today. <laughs> so legs in. And what we're going to do is come round like so. So you point the toes when you come straight up and then you pull the heels round and together and then point the toes again. And the aim of it is to keep your abdominals working, ribs are down, you try and maintain that little arch in the back and you try not to arch too much when the legs come round. Good. And we're trying to open out through the hips as well and get a good stretch. Good. So the biggest thing to work on is not arching the back as the legs scoop round. Try and keep this flat. Good. and then we're going to go back round the other way so the legs come straight down scoop round and back up again <laughs> straight there round and up brilliant two more Excellent. All right, now we're going to place the feet down on the floor. If at any point um, it feels too hard or the bands are too stretchy, then just shuffle your body backwards and forwards. All right. <laughs> so feet on the floor, bands either side of your knees. We're just going to do a couple of shoulder bridges just to ease things off um, to start with and get the technique right. So tucking under, curling up one vertebra at a time, pushing your knees away and then curling back down again. 
and then again tuck under curl up push the knees away and curl back down one more brilliant on the next one we're going to stay up the top you're going to stretch one leg out and then we're going up and down with that leg like so so let's all do it together tucking under curling up stretch out the right leg point as the leg goes up towards the sky and flex as the leg goes down two three four five six seven good eight nine ten place that foot down and curl that down again brilliant go again tuck under curl up take the weight over to the right stretch out the left pointing straight up drive the heel down <laughs> he's like where is she <laughs> three four five six seven eight nine then place that foot down, tuck under, curl that down again. You can bring your knees into your chest to ease things off. Brilliant. Feet back down on the floor, heels in towards your bum. Tuck under, curl up. We're going to do the same thing again, but with circles. So stretch out that right leg and then do a big circle with the right leg. One, two, keep that tummy tight. Three four five six seven eight nine ten place that foot down and curl back down again and then the same on the other side tuck under curl up straighten out the left and then go again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten brilliant foot down curl that down right so the plan was to use the rings have we got enough you've got one there and then it's just me which is perfect i can do it without <laughs> Okay, so feet back in the, um, the loops if you've taken them out. <laughs> and then we're doing the same exercise as we've been doing on the last term. So the rings between the knees, but it's going to feel really nice compared with last term because you've got the bands to protect you. Or to protect your back, I should say. So ring between your knees. <laughs> um cool and then you're stretching out with it Woo. good thank god you know the exercise three four <laughs> trying to keep your toes pointing straight up and when the legs come out make sure you don't come out into a v try and come out straight as you can if you want to come into a crunch for these then do as well Seven, keep trying to push away with the heels. <laughs> Two more. Brilliant. Hook the ring around the outside of the feet, around the outside of the rings, I should say, and around the feet and pull in to stretch. Cool. <laughs> Brilliant. Ring between your ankles now. Good. Try and keep that little arch in the back, ribs down, tuck the chin, come into the crunch if you want to, and then stretching out again. Two, three, four, one brilliant okay 
put the ring aside and take the bands in your hands now. One band in each hand and you're probably going to have to do a little shuffle away because with your arms straight up in front of you, you want to feel that tension already. Don't want any flappy bands. <laughs> Good. So knees bent, feet hip width apart, arms straight up in front of you and we're going to do some crunches, pulling the arms down by the sides and then coming up out in front of you again and crunch and come back up. And remember to do, um, to do it in that Pilates structure. So you're thinking about drawing down at the front, drawing the ribs down to the pelvis at the front, but also thinking about drawing down at the back as well. Think about left, lifting the pelvic floor the whole time and think about maintaining the arch in the back the whole time. So we're not flattening and crunching the whole body. We're trying to stay nice and taut. Stretch your fingertips down towards your toes each time. So the bands can really help by stretching the fingertips down towards the toes. Mihaela, are you purposefully not lifting up? You've not injured anything, have you? I'm just wondering why you're not lifting the whole body. <laughs> cool. That's <laughs> fine. Hi. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Seven. After two weeks off. <laughs> Nice. Oh yeah, yeah. Good job your session didn't fall on a bank holiday this week as well, because all of those people have had another week off. Okay, two more guys. I know you're probably feeling it in your necks more than anywhere else. And then I want both bands in the right hand. Left hand behind the head, so you can support your head and we can do some more. <laughs> Good. Two, three, four. And if you're struggling with the head and neck, even with it supported, then you can do these, almost sort of have the intention of doing the crunch, but without doing it. Eight. Claire, you're a little bit too close to the wall, I think. That's why the flapping. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> good stuff other side other hand behind the head come into the crunch each time lifting up and pulling the bands down see remember to keep that arch keep your pelvic floor tight Two more. Brilliant. All right, we're going to turn to the side. So this is one I'm nervous about because I can't demonstrate quite so well. You'll just have to crane your neck so you can see me. Um, let's all face the house to start with. It feels like the majority of you are facing away from me, but never mind. <laughs> so both bands on the top foot to the side. And you're aiming at a tabletop position on this side. The other leg's bent on the floor. And don't let the bands hitch this hip up towards you. Keep it away from you, if that makes sense. Keep the knee high. If you feel like the bands are attacking you, because what we're doing is we're straightening the leg there. If you feel like the bands are coming, coming too close to your face, then just shuffle your body back just a little bit and then they come out of the way. So we're going from tabletop to straight. And you really kick that leg out, really push that leg away from you and try and elongate through the whole body as you stretch that leg away. Hannah, keep your knee higher than your foot. That's it. That goes for everyone. Just try and keep the knee higher than the foot. And think about your clam positioning. So tuck that bottom hip backwards. Imagine you're doing the clams. If you want to work a little bit harder, you can come up onto the elbow if you want to. <laughs> you can tell the ones who've done something during the Easter holidays. <laughs> or maybe the ones who haven't and want to work harder. 
Ah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Good, so on the next one we're going to stay out with the leg out, really try and stretch the leg away from you and then pulse up and down, trying to keep it as much in line with the body as you can. If you're up on that um, elbow then make sure the shoulder's strong. And then rotate the toes up and then rotate down. The whole leg should be rotating, not just the ankle, which I think you've all got. Kira, keep that leg in line with the body. That's it. You knew what I was going to say because you, you did it before I said it. <laughs> Brilliant. Now point the toes, take the leg forwards with a straight leg and then drive the heel backwards, back in line with the body again. Point the toes, take the leg forward, and then heel back. Brilliant. It does make a difference up on the elbow, actually. <laughs> Last one. Brilliant. All right, other side. Yeah. No. We've had that before as well, actually. It is quite scary, isn't it? Yeah. And it's probably nothing, is it? Yeah. So make sure you tuck that bottom hip backwards. Bottom under, ribs under. Come up onto the elbow if you want to. Keeping that knee a little bit higher than the toes. You've ended up with your bands behind you, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, I think it's just, oh, I don't know whether to actually get you up to make sure. Shuffle your, your top half backwards to the mat here. Top half back, so your shoulder back towards me there and your hips forwards. It's just that your mat's not in line with the bands, that's all. Yeah, mine. <laughs> yeah. Do you want yeah. If you could bring your shoulders back, shuffle them back towards the back of the mat a little bit further. <laughs> that's it and then they come in front that's it and then bend your knee again perfect <laughs> it doesn't take much it's just usually a little shuffle Alison keep that knee nice and high the top knee, that's it, brilliant. Is it ready? Good. Okay, straight leg out, elongate through that leg and pulse up and down. Squeeze through your tummy. Keep the pulses nice and strong in line with the body. Excellent, then rotating the toes up and back down. Try and move from inside that hip joint. <laughs> Keeping your tummy working as well. Brilliant, stop there, point the toes, take the leg forwards and then drive your heel back. Keeping the body strong, so keeping your abs tight. You're good. <laughs> Two more. Brilliant. All right, take the bands off your foot and then you can sit up as usual, cross your legs and stretch it out. Good stuff. 
Other than the plains, it feels quite peaceful, doesn't it? Oh, she says, and then there's a toot. Yeah. Yesterday, the, we literally felt like there wasn't a plane at all, so decided they might be coming in from the other direction. Does that even happen? They do, they do. Yeah. It's amazing. Because my friends live on the least used bit. Right. Just occasionally. And I bet it's whenever they hold a party in the garden or something. It's normally when it's sunny. Yeah. What a shame. I know. Well, funny enough, it was beautiful yesterday and there were no planes. So I'm wondering whether I'll be lucky with that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because it's not such a nice day. Nah. We'll see. Right, so we're all kneeling up facing the back of the garden. And um, instead of using rights and lefts because you guys are on the other side, I'm going to try and say furthest from the wall and closest to the wall, I guess. <laughs> so the hand furthest from the wall on your thigh. We've got a band in each hand, by the way. The hand furthest from the wall on your thigh, the other hand is pushing straight up. And the other hand taps the shoulder and then it comes up to your ear. Taps the shoulder and comes up to the ear. And you can adjust the resistance by moving closer or further away from the wall. Try and keep your bottom tucked under, your tummy tight, your chest open. Woo! Mine one doesn't uh, work for this so well. Brilliant. So that hand that you've just been using on your thigh now and the other one pulls out and across. Again it kind of taps the shoulder and then it comes and stretches out and across. You can look with the head as well. You can turn your head and look to the side each time. Remember to scoop the tummy in, squeeze your bum and tuck under. Keep the shoulders down and the chest open. <laughs> Good, just two more. Brilliant. Okay, so that hand we've just been using, slide it down your thigh and I want your whole body to come into a side bend and it stays in that side bend as you push the other one over and you reach for the far fence. Good. Alison, stay in your side bend, stay with the hand there and then it's just the arm that moves. Perfect. Two more. Brilliant. All right, other side. So, hand furthest from the wall on your thigh. Other arm pushing straight up. It's good to think about squaring off your shoulders and your hips, bottom under, and stretching straight up. The hand touches the shoulder, then the arm pushes straight up. And if you can get that elbow to your ear, then great. <laughs> Protect the baby <laughs> from the bands. Hello. <laughs> two more. Excellent, so that hand on your thigh, the other one pulling out and across. There, tap the shoulder and pull out and across. Oh, you're on the wrong one there, Sophia. That hand on your thigh. Yeah, left hand on your thigh now. <laughs> Brilliant, that's it. <laughs> Three. 
try not to lean into it as much as you can. Try and get the movement to just come from that arm. And remembering to tuck your bottom under, squeeze your tummy. Two more. Good, slide that band down your thigh. Remember to stay in your side bend. And the other arm is pulling across. Again, it kind of taps the shoulder and then pushes across. Taps the shoulder and off. Good. <laughs> two more brilliant all right so we are going to be um standing up now and facing the wall arms down by your sides feet hip width apart bend your knees a little bit tuck your bottom under arms are by the side did i say that already i think yeah <laughs> open out through the front of your chest Knees a little bit soft and then pulsing the hands backwards, scooping in through your tummy. So you've got to be careful not to lean backwards into this one. It's kind of an exercise for the shoulder blades, so you should feel those burning a little bit as you do it. But really work hard not to lean backwards in it. Keep the weight equal through your toes and your heels. Good stuff. Take a little shuffle back and I want your arms out in front of you. I can't do this one here. Arms out in front and then you're pulling one arm back, rotating the body round as you pull back. Brilliant. So then come back to the front again and pull back, keeping that elbow high. Excellent. Again, try not to lean back into it. Then soften the knees, make sure the weight's equal between the toes and the heels. One more each side. And then we're going to turn and face the other way, facing away from the wall. And you've got to bring the bands round. No. <laughs> and then we're punching like that. Good. Again, scooping in the tummy, not leaning forwards into it. Keep the weight back through the heels so all the movement's coming from the arms. Good. Brilliant. And you get a nice little rotation through the spine as well. Whilst keeping the hips still, you get a bit of rotation through the upper back. Brilliant, one more each side. Good stuff. Now you can let go of the bands. <laughs> okay, get rid of mine. Right, we're gonna tuck the chin down to the chest. Curl down, let the arms and head go heavy, bend and straighten alternate knees. And then we're going to walk out forwards into the downward dog. So if you need to bend your knees a little bit to get there, then do. And we're here, feet hip width apart, dropping those heels down, stretching your sitting bones straight up. No, we're still not good. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting, isn't it? Do you go dizzy? Maybe there's something in the ears or... Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Come forwards into a plank. Hopefully that's all for that one. <laughs> Good. And then dropping those hips down into your cobra. Open out through the front of your chest. Keep your abdominals engaged a little bit. If you feel that really uncomfortable, then come onto the elbows. We're not going to stay there long. It's just good to do the movement. Brilliant. Tuck the toes back under again. Come back up into the plank. And if you can launch one leg forwards <laughs> to the outside of your hand. Is everybody all right there? 
If you can get it towards the outside of the hand, then great. And we're going to come over to the side and stretch this arm up. Drop the back heel to the floor to the side. So you're nice and stable through that back leg. We all right? <laughs> Good, bring that down. Step that leg back. You've just had forwards. You're all on different legs. I can't use my rights and lefts. Other leg forwards. <laughs> back heel to the floor. Arm up to the side. Good. Excellent. Bring that hand to the floor. And I just want you to bring the back knee down so we come into this kneeling position. Whichever hip is at the back, stretch that same arm up. Drop the shoulders down, bottom under, tummy in, head up in line, chin tucked, and then lunge slightly forwards into it. You shouldn't be able to get too far forwards because then you're letting go of your back. So make sure your back's flat and your bottom's tucked under and lunging forwards. Make sure that elbow's straight. Lovely, bring that one back, other one forwards. Bottom under, lunge slightly forwards, bring that same arm up. Good stuff. <laughs> okay, so if we can lie on our fronts now, bring that leg back. Lie onto your front and bend one heel towards your bum. Keep the knees together. And again, scoop in your tummy and tuck your bottom under. <laughs> Good, other side. Keeping the knees together again, remember. <laughs> All right, lovely. So coming up onto the hands and knees again, stretch your bum straight up again, hanging down, stretching through the backs of the legs, bend and straighten alternate knees. And then start rolling up, bottom under, tummy in, curling up. And then the last thing to stretch is triceps, because you'll probably feel those a bit tomorrow. We've done quite a lot on them. So you basically you stretch your fingertips down towards your bum and pull your uh, elbow back. I think everyone knows this stretch. Just make sure you, it doesn't tug your head forwards. Try and keep your head up in line. And why not? Bottom under, tummy in, the usual. Knees a little bit bent. Good, and then the other side. Think about dropping the shoulders down too. That'll intensify the stretch. Brilliant. Well done. Got through it. With how many? One, two, three, four.